Modern technology has changed the way we live, work and play. Across Asia, technological advancement has helped art performances to achieve greater heights. In Tokyo, a dancer meticulously choreographs motion graphics onto his dance, combining traditional and modern elements of Japanese culture, Western hip-hop dance and martial arts. In the Philippines, a group of young dancers shot to fame for their creative human shadow play. Akin to traditional shadow play, this performance is aided with modern technology and it is a great form of storytelling. A hip-hop dance crew in Osaka dons wireless light suits straight out of a sci-fi movie. When the suits light up in a ripple effect, the result is a stop-motion flipbook come to life. Watch how technology transformed the way these performers communicate and entertain audiences. shopping malls, high fashion boutiques, crowded eateries. This is Japan, the world's technological superpower. In this futuristic society, technology has penetrated into almost every aspect of their lives. This is the country where the most forward-thinking performing artist can be found. Fusing technological prowess and traditional art forms, these Japanese performers have taken performing arts to an entirely new level. テクノロジー的な部分でも日本はあの質的研究家らも知られているようにそういう技術としてはすごい細かいものをセンサーに作るっていうのがあってでその二つが組み合わさった時により繊細な部分を高めるっていう部分で日本の日本のセンサーの部
Sakakura realized that the Western hip-hop dance was his true calling. In the early 90s, Sakakura packed up and left for the United States to pursue his interest in hip-hop dance. アメリカのホントのアフリカアメリカンのダンサーからあなた何やってるのってすっごい恥ずかしいことしてるんだよそれはって自分の国にホントすごいかっこいいこう文化があるのになぜ他人の国の文化を真似してるのって言われてびっく
he needs to ensure the technical setup works well in the new theater, as this is his first time performing here. Sakakura will be performing two pieces of projection dance in the showcase. Both dancers have been choreographed according to the motion graphic projection created by Akiba. To ensure his dance synchronizes with the projection, Sakakura has to be careful and precise with the timing of his moves. よし、やってやるっていう気持ちですけど、半分は映像大丈夫かなってすごい不安がありますね。えっと、明日無心できる衣装っていうのは、あの、空手着をデフォルメして、で、自分で作ったんですけども、まあ、いろいろ切ったり
ぜひあのお客さん観客の皆さんに 3D メガネをかけてもらって 3D 映像を投影しながらなんか僕がダーンってやったりするとお客さんの方に向かってこうエネルギーがいくような映像が 3D で見れるといいなとそれちょっとやってみたいですけどね。Sakakura has finally come full circle as a performer. As a cool Japanese dancer, he has now become an icon of Japan to the world. While technology has brought Japanese performer Sakakura's artistic work to greater heights, it has also led a group of Filipino hip hop dancers from poverty to national stardom. The Filipino shadow dance group is named El Gama Penumbra. Which means ray and shadow. And the simple technology of light and shadow has radically changed the lives of these dancers living in a humble province of the Philippines. Shadow dance takes its roots in shadow puppetry, an ancient art form in Asia. Over time, technological advancement has contributed to the modification of the traditional shadow play. The use of human shadows instead of puppets. Has been discovered and made popular in recent years as a new form of entertainment. The monsoon rain in Tanawan City did not hamper the teeming street from its usual hustle and bustle. Small business establishments still lord over the city's major thoroughfares, as well as the open air public markets where locals sell fresh produce and provincial wares. From the province of Batangas. Out of this humble province, a group of young dancers have taken the Philippines by storm. El Gama Penumbra is made up of a group of 21 dancers from the ages of 19 to 27. They've created their own brand of shadow dance, a creative art form of shadow formations. Created by human bodies, the result is often one that surprises the audience, leaving them to ponder at how such accuracy can be achieved behind the screen. Akin to traditional shadow play, this art form is aided with music and is a great form of storytelling. Shadow play is using your whole body to create a shadow formation. Uh, perfectly similar to real image, like for example, horse. We will um, make some shadow formations just to create a horse using our bodies. Then, yung sa kalabaw naman, basa kabayo naman. Ginawa namin ng dati anim nay. Dati anim ngayon tatlo na lang siya. In sa isa sa binu namin yung kalabaw sa sa fix na paraan yung kung paano ba inisip namin na dapat fix tayo dapat pagpatong ng isang kamay pagpatong ng isang kamay dapat dun ka na kasi once na gumalaw ka dyan One, six, seven, two. ang sa turtle naman nabuo namin siya ng dati medyo marami kasi ano eh maano siya yung malaki siya eh then kinuha namin yung paano na paano ba namin ko paano ba kami lalayo sa sa screen lalapit kami para mapalaki namin yung image where human bodies fail to form certain shadows props are used to complement the story requirements the team uses the simplest materials like cardboard paper and wire to create these props and the results are highly sophisticated images that belie the humble origins Uh, pinakamahirap po akong pag na part na paggawa ng props ay eh, yung pong pagka pagkakat po ng mga drawings. Kailangan po kasi detalye, wala pong labis-labis na ano para po maganda po sa shadow. Tapos po, uh, yung pong pagpapatigas niya, kailangan po kasi siya ng bamboo. Kung malambot po siya, hindi po siya tatayo ng ayos. Yun po. Ito po ay Bur ano, Buracay Island. Ito po ang pinakasikat na beach sa buong Pilipinas. Ito po yung national hero po namin na... Uh, ito po yung jeepney ng Philippines. Uh, di rin po namin siya kayang gawin ng shadow. Kaya ginamitan din po namin siya ng, ng props. Unbeknown to their fans, these youngsters from El Gama Penumbra shared humble beginnings. 23-year-old Marvin Marfa is the leader of El Gama Penumbra. Growing up in a village in Tanawan City, 
Marvin has come a long way since the old days. My mother is a fish, uh, fish vendor. She goes to market every day to sell fish for our living. And then our, my father is, uh, is just uh, going around in our village and finding some things to do. Uh, we are in the average level. Our family uh, can eat every day, three times a day, uh, which, which is uh, for us is okay. Na rin po. Since young, Marvin dreamed big. Not satisfied with being trapped in a small village, he had dreamt of becoming a famous dancer who performs on television. In 2008, Marvin, together with his best friend Roel Amano, formed a hip hop dance group, Graffiti Motion. Graffiti Motion was made up of their common college friends. These youngsters picked up hip hop dance all by themselves. Our hip hop dance is focused on um, crampings, on uh, hard hip hop. Here in the Philippines, dance contest is often every festas we go there and then we have the chance to compete with other group dancers, with other hip hop dancers. In 2011, Marvin thought of taking part in the reality TV contest Philippines Got Talent. He wanted to aim higher as he was no longer satisfied with participating in dance contests at provincial level. But to make it to the TV show, he had to come up with a performance better and stronger than the typical hip-hop routines. While surfing the net for ideas, Marvin chanced upon shadow dance shows by Pilobolus from the United States, who was the most popular shadow arts group. He was immediately hooked. When we first saw the performance of a shadow play, we are very amazed because how it's gonna be done, how it's gonna be created, we, we began curious for what they are doing. But being young, penniless and completely inexperienced, how was Marvin ever going to pull off a shadow dance performance and enter into a national TV contest? Marvin Mafa from the Philippines dreamed of becoming famous and decided to take part in the reality TV contest Philippines Got Talent. Being young and brash, he had all the courage to make things work for him. We studied the, how it's gonna be like, uh, be projected on the screen. That's why we, we have some trial and errors. We, we also use the halogen light, which uh, became uh, feasible for us to use because um, we, from that halogen light, we created a shadow. In order to put up a shadow dance performance, Marvin needed more dancers to take part in it. He had to recruit 15 more members to join him. Um, actually, hindi naman namin, wala sa amin, wala sa akin nagturo, wala sa amin nagturo. Um, bali, imagination lang. Parang scratch to scratch. In shadow play, it's really very hard because um, there's so many technical aspects. That's why we are needing some people to help us just to create or to produce a shadow play. We continue to to invent, to invent. The more members is the more easier for us to create a shadow play. From hip-hop dancing, the dancers now adopted a different dance routine. They incorporated gymnastics and focused on finding imaginative ways to create shadow formations. Proper training po namin, hindi po siya, hindi po, wala po kasing nagturo sa amin nun, kaya kumuha na lang po kami sa sarili po namin kakayanan, kung anong lang po yun nandyan, ini-enhance po namin, then tsaka po namin nakukuha yung mga, naging comfortable po po kami sa isa't isa. Even though Roel did not know how to create shadow formations, he persevered and did not give up. Through a series of trial and error, his creative imagination gradually forged a way. Dati po kasi pagka, pagka nagsabi siya ng image, bali, nagtatagal po eh, nagtatagal pa paano ba dapat. 
hindi po na nagpo-form po kami ng ano ngayon, ngayon po pag sinabi niya po parang yung na-visualize ko na po agad kung paano kung paano po pwesto ang kung ilan bang tao to kung ilan bang kung ilan kung alin ba dapat yung gagamitin mo yung technique kung saan mo dadayain yung formation kung saan lalayo kung saan lalapit yun po doon po na doon ko na po nakukuha kung paano kung paano ko po mabubuo yung shadow pinaka image it takes us four months before we have a better idea of shadow play today. Uh, we are not saying that we have uh, the perfect shadow play in the world, but I think it, um, it's the best of us that uh, we can do to share to our audiences. We also experiences, uh, experience uh, some hardships of, of being hungry. Sometimes we are practicing every night and we have no uh, foods to eat. El Gama Penumbra put up their signature piece, I Choose Philippines, in the contest. The choreography is based on their collective interpretation of their nation. But, um, pag, uh, by, ano po kasi, um, by, sa, ano, sa beat po ng music, then kung kailangan po ng, kung kailangan pong mabagal lang, then smooth lang po yung paggagawa, bali, hindi po, hindi po siya biglaan. Pero po kasing time na kailangan, fix ka dito, one, two, three, five, pick ka dapat. Then, meron pang may nagpuplo ka po ng dapat ano lang, smooth lang yung pagbubuo mo ng image para mafeel po ng tao mafeel po ng tao na ganun, ganun po yung ginagawa namin. In the end, El Gama Penumbra did not make it as the winners of the TV contest. Instead, they came in third place during the season finale. However, their performance received an overwhelming amount of positive responses. Their creative human shadow play performance provides a new form of entertainment to the Filipino audiences. Even the provincial governor expresses her unwavering support for these youngsters. Well, they're fantastic. They are uh, very unique. And uh, definitely, uh, with the achievements they have now and the popularity, I think uh, they are considered uh, one of the prides of Batangas. I guess we were all shocked that they were so, they're, they're so good. Uh, we couldn't imagine how they do it up to this time. But every time they do it, I always ask them, how do you do it? In the Philippines, shadow dance has become popular because of El Gama Penumbra. As the first shadow dancers in the country, El Gama Penumbra has impressed audiences wherever they perform. The creative use of basic technology has propelled the dancers to a level they never experienced before. We are very glad because our parents, our friends, our classmates, they, they saw us on TV and they saw us performing not only uh, sitting or just uh, watching uh, on the show, but we are on the stage who are performing and that's why we are very happy, we are very proud of ourselves for what we have done. I think it's, it's too blessing for us and I'm so thankful to God that we have made it this very far. Over in Osaka, Japan's third largest city, the urban sprawl is pulsating with an entirely different beat. Right in the heart of the city, a hip-hop dance crew from Japan is donning wireless light suits straight out of a science fiction movie. This is EL Wire Dance, an eye-popping hip-hop performance featuring dancers in electroluminescent wire suits, otherwise known as EL Wire Suits. This hyper-modern style reflects the universality of science fiction themes. Futuristic bodies refigure themselves under the impact of rapid technological change, blinking in and out of existence and surprising us with their spatial instability. Aided by computer programming and wireless technology, the special effects hip-hop moves can't get any more futuristic than this.
こういったものってあの元は映像で作られたものだと思うんですねあの映像上では人がアープしたりっていうふうに漫画や CG の世界で行われていたことだと思うんですねやっぱり人が想像してこんなことができたら面白いんじゃないかなっていうふうなことをまず考えるんですけどじゃあそこでどんどん技術が発達していってじゃあ今の技術があればこんなことができるんじゃないかっていうふうなことがあってやっぱりその漫画や CG から影響はすごいあると思いますオサカは the heart of Kansai region famous for its down to earth citizens hearty cuisines and all the delights of a modern Japanese city lesser known to the outside world Osaka is also where you'll find some of the best hip hop dancers in Japan. From 1989, they, like, people in Osaka would import all the best dancers from, like, say, New York or LA and then、uh, over here to be guest performers, and then all the dancers would, would learn from them also. And so in Osaka, it was kind of like a melting pot of a lot of different dance styles. At the heart of the hip hop scene in Osaka is Wrecking Crew Orchestra. Established in September 2003, The dance crew has traveled around the world to showcase the best talents in Japanese hip hop. レキクロオーケストラというのはですね、えーとまあ、それぞれストリートダンスのシーンの世界で、えー、とストリートダンスシーンって、まあ、ストリートダンスってこういろんなジャンルがあるんですけど、まあ、ヒップホップだったりハウスでウォーキングでポップといろんなジャンルがあるんですけども、まあ、その中のやっぱりこう日本でこうずっとトップで活躍してきた一線で活躍してきたやつたち関西のやつたちがこう集まった集団というか、まあ、その僕たちの一つのまあ目的としてストリートダンスの,その新しい可能性というか。The core of EL Wire Dance lies in hip hop dance techniques. Only the best hip hop dancers would make the cut for this type of technically challenging performance. They go back a long time because they, they came from a bunch of、uh, dance, like probably the best dance crews in Osaka. They're at the level where, you know, they probably don't really need to prove how good they are. But they're well known, and then、uh, I think, you know, they're probably on a world scale, they're like kind of world class. まあ、ヒップホップ、まあまあ、僕はまあヒップホップ専門なんですけども、まあ、専門というかまあヒップホップを主にメインでやってるんですけど、まあ、ヒップホップっていうのは、まあ、おそらくまあ皆さんが一番そのまあテレビとかでまあ見る機会のある、えー、ダンスですかね、まあ、ブレイキンっていうねあのまあぐるぐるこう背中で回ったりとかで、まあ、ポップインっていうのはまあそのポップインっていうその名の通り体をこうパッとペッはじくはじいてこう不思議なこうロボットのように見せたりとか、えー、まあそうですね、まあ、簡単に言うとその人間離れした。Back in 2011, Wrecking Crew Orchestra shot to worldwide fame with their Tron dance. They donned EL wire suits inspired by the Hollywood film Tron Legacy. Their precisely timed dance sequences seemed like an impossible feat. And has wowed audiences all over the world. Their online clip was a runaway success. It had reportedly more than 200,000 hits a day. ですね、でまあ実際にまあ僕たちが世界で別に初めてというわけじゃなくて、まあ、もちろんそのまあいろんなアメリカにも,もちろんいてましたし、うんまあ、日本にもそういうまあ似たようなそういうまあチームが確か、えーとね、いてたと思います。A year after the phenomenal success of Tron Dance, Yokoi is staging something even more ambitious this time. Together with the director of the company, Kotoba Takumi, they are staging a new dance performance that promises to be bigger, better, and even more spectacular. まあ、正直いくと、あまあ、人数からですね、えー、と人数はですね、えー、53人のダンサー、はい、そして、えー、と3人のミュージシャンで、スタッフは12人ですね、はいえー、レーザー、照明、音響、そして、まあ、舞台監督ですね、でまあ、僕を入れて、えー、全員でそれぐらいの感じです。で、えー、と今回、一番高みを狙った賞かというとあ、もちろんね、今までで一番はいつも狙ってるんですけど、やっぱり追求というよりかは、But the dancers do not realize that sometimes technology can go terribly wrong.
Osaka's best hip hop group, Wrecking Crew Orchestra, is staging their most ambitious performance to date. The production features 21 dancers in an eye popping EL wire dance performance, a number three times bigger than what it was a year ago. With a scale as big as this, the team has to deal with an extremely complex system. <laughs> 29-year-old Minoru Fujimoto was the scientist who developed the cutting-edge EL wire dance technology for Wrecking Crew Orchestra. Also a professor and research associate at Tokyo University of Technology, Minoru specializes in wearable technology for Japanese theater and artists. Prior to working on EL wires, he had created LED suits for break dancers. で、before he became a professor, Minoru was an award-winning breakdancer in the university circuit. そうです。あの、実際その最初は体操部、あ、その体操の中で練習してたんですけど、それをまあ、ちょっとずつあの学校の廊下とかで本当にブレイクダンス、あの床に手をついてっていうブレイクダンスを始めて、そこでそれで高
But this time, the system has to support 21 dancers, a number three times bigger than what it used to be in the previous performance. It's just connected to something that's messing everything up. To make things worse, the technical problems have become a threat to the show. If you look here, you need a wireless connection because you're going to have a, like a central transmitter. That's, so basically, like a, you'll, ha you'll have music that's sequenced. They're the ones that set the timing for the triggers. So music is just like sound waves on a timeline, right? And so, like, uh, so when you have a beat, the beat happens every like you know, you know, like whatever beats per minute, right? And so, uh, so using that timeline, you can also send uh, lighting triggers. About it, I came like three days ago, and then they're like, you know, there's only like three working systems. I'm like what? So after that, then I was spending a lot of time soldering, fixing, repairing everything. Two hours before the performance, the dancers get ready for the final full dress rehearsal. To their horror, the system suddenly crashed at the worst possible time. The base is supposed to be on, but it's not. There, there could be a problem with this device. We're changing everything at the last minute, and that's normally very bad. And so one of the changes just completely broke everything. So we just went, moved back to the original system, and then we just went more. So now it's too close to the Racing against time, the team needs to focus on minimizing damage. Nobody knows if the show can go on. Yokoi and Kotoba are beginning to question if they have been too ambitious with the scale of the performance this time. Just when everybody is expecting the worst to happen, the engineers finally managed to find a solution. Outside the theater, the audience has arrived. The dancers need to leave all the backstage drama behind and focus on presenting a top-notch performance to their full house hip-hop fans. の部分だけじゃなくてやっぱりなんかそれの期待に応えれるものでさらにそれをこうもう本当にその期待以上というかびっくりするようなものやっぱり見せたいと思ったしでもともとそれとダンスが好きで見に来てくれた人たちもなん